Hello and welcome to the Vita Weekly Update, where I take the news of the week and compress it into a bite-sized video. It seems that Capcom and Konami want to get in on the Vita free-to-play scene. Capcom is releasing a 2D adaptation of the Dragon's Dogma series known as Dragon's Dogma Quest, and Konami is releasing a trading card game with a baseball theme known as Power Pro Stadium. No details for either game to be released in the West. My teen romantic and comedy Snafu, a visual novel based on the manga of the same name, is coming to the Vita on September 19. A limited edition is available for almost 10,000 yen with an over included. The game is touted to have action and mental choices with extremely bad endings. Obviously there's no western details on this one yet either. Killzone Mercenary is going to have a beta which is apparently exclusive to people who visit the E3 booth in PlayStation Home. The player will be required to do one of several quests and the reward will be the beta. Also of note is that the game's maps and modes have been revealed. Three game modes, your standard deathmatch, team deathmatch and your warzone mode, and six different maps. Toro's Friend Network and Paint Park Plus, two apps already available in Japan, came out this week on the PlayStation Store for the United States and Europe. They're both free to try, so why don't you give them a go? Guacamelee's first DLC was supposed to come out this week, but due to a game-breaking bug in the update to prepare the game for the DLC, the update was pulled and the release delayed. The update, once re-released, adds new character costumes to give the game some extra challenge, along with some trophies. The second set of free DLC for Soul Sacrifice will hit the US and Europe this week, containing the Dwarf and the Ogre. Also of note is that a new patch on the Japanese game adds a new story chapter concerning the Avalon organization and some HUD tweaks. Let's end off the week with three game announcements. First up is Field Runners 2, the sequel to iOS game and PS minigame Field Runners. The game will contain new levels, turrets, and enemy AI that can actively avoid defenses. The game is out sometime this year. Malicious Rebirth, the expanded version of the PS3 game Malicious already released in Japan, is coming to the West in the next few months. The game is a boss gauntlet game with lots of stages and attacks. I'll give you more details when I have them. And finally we have Stick It To The Man, a mind-reading, mind-bending game where the main protagonist can read minds and implant his own thoughts and even pull out objects from other people's thoughts. Ryan North, the writer of Adventure Time, is tagging along for the story and dialogue. The game is due out sometime this year as well. That's it for this week, and yep, the video capture Vita is on the way and you'll never have to see my fingernails again. Like, subscribe, comment, and share the video around if you liked it. See you next week.